I'm Tara Stiles and welcome to the Live Strong Woman channel. So today I'm going to show you how to make snickerdoodles. And snickerdoodles for me has a really happy place in my heart. My Aunt Sharon and my cousin Sheila and I used to get together every time I went over to their house and made these. So this is a more non-dairy version, so we're gonna give it a try and see how it goes. So we'll use some pastry flour or almond flour, that should work too, some cornstarch, and I have some butter. I've got this earth balance butter. Gonna have some sugar, some almond milk, some vanilla extract, some cinnamon, and some baking powder. And then to make it all snickerdoodly, gonna have some sugar and cinnamon to roll it in. So first thing we do is we take our flour, get it in there, and we take our cornstarch, put that in there too, and our baking powder. So all of these dry ingredients together, and we're just gonna combine these with a spoon. So get these all combined. Nice little stir. Alrighty, so that's looking pretty even there. I set this aside and we're gonna get to our butter now. So we're gonna have our bigger dish and you're gonna need a whisk or a fork. If you have very aggressive fork patterns, you can do that too, or a beater will work too. But I've softened this up a little bit, so this should be pretty easy to combine. So we got our butter, and just see if we can kind of get in there and mush it up a bit. And we're gonna add our sugar to the mix. So, there we go. Kind of just get in there with your beaters, your fork, and get everything all situated. <laughs> Might need some attention, especially if you're not using a beater. You can do this with a fork, I'm sure. Or your hands, if you get really into it. <laughs> so this is actually working. There we go. So you'll see when it starts to look combined because it's just the butter connecting and mushing together with the sugar. We are combining. <laughs> All right, so we've combined our butter and our sugar. And once that's all smooth, you can toss in your almond milk and your vanilla extract and combine again. So we're combining the sugar, the butter, the almond milk, and the vanilla extract. And then we're going to combine in the rest of our dry ingredients. So the flour, cornstarch, and the baking powder. So kind of just combine this together. It's kind of better without a beater because you get an arm workout too. <laughs> so you wanna keep going with this. Don't stop too soon. You wanna keep going until it's all combined and it really starts to look like cookie batter. No flour left. Have faith, it'll work out. <laughs> as long as you follow the ingredients and the recipe. Okay, so this is working out. Getting a nice little, you know, bicep, tricep action going on here. <laughs> okay, so this is looking pretty darn good. All right. So now is the really, really fun part. You're going to get some sugar and put some cinnamon in the bowl, mix it up. And this is the part that my cousin Sheila and I always love to do was make little balls out of this because you get to roll it with your hand and that's really fun. And then we got to do this part, which was dump it in here. I know why I never got to do that part because that's the hard part. If you're a little kid, <laughs> maybe it'd be more frustrating. But okay, so there we go. Oof, just like Aunt Sharon used to make, or she still does. <laughs> I just don't get to go home as often, fortunately. And there we go. So these are going to be amazing. Roll them up, get them in there. Okay, so our snickerdoodles are ready to go in the oven at 350 degrees for about 15 to 20 minutes. Make sure you check on them to see how they're doing. Okay, here we go. Okay, so we're ready for our snickerdoodles. Let's check them out. Alrighty, here we go. And they look pretty darn good. Oh my goodness, these came out great. I think my Aunt Sharon will be really proud. So let's see if we can give one a taste. Make sure you let your snickerdoodles cool a little bit. Don't blow on it. Um, mm. 
So good. Really, really good. See you later.